In the previous episode, we visited Carlsbad Caverns National Park. From there, we drove 32 miles southwest to Guadalupe Mountains National Park. We have arrived at Guadalupe Mountains National Park. We're super excited to be here at this time of the year because it is fall colors. Hopefully, we'll do um, some good hikes so that we can see them in all full glory. Guadalupe Mountains National Park was unit number two on our journey to visit all 400 plus national park units. We are here right now at the Pine Springs Visitor Center and to do the McKittrick Canyon we're gonna drive around, drive in here and then walk inside the canyon and back and then we're gonna do the bowl hike that's up here. We're also gonna of course do the Guadalupe Heat Peak which is here and then on the last day, we're gonna drive around and there's dunes somewhere near. So we'll see those as well. The first hike started from McKittrick Canyon Visitor Center, about 12 miles from Pine Springs. We are at the McKittrick Canyon Trailhead and we're gonna go for a hike into the canyon. We'll see how far we get. Um, we're just taking our day packs with us. It should be around eight miles total, but I haven't actually seen very clear um, mileage information to the notch. So we have these fancy watches on us, so we'll see how much it is in the end. The park has over 80 miles of trails, and we were determined to hike as much as we could. So, on the first hiking day, we did both the McKittrick Canyon Trail and Devil's Hall Trails. The reason we are doing the McKittrick Canyon Trail is because this is the best place in the park to see the fall colors. The Guadalupe Mountains are a fossilized marine reef which formed in the Permian era 260 million years ago. Two and a half miles. The public can enjoy McKittrick Canyon due to the generosity of Wallace Pratt and his family who donated the land to the National Park Service around 1960. Pratt Cabin was his summer getaway to hide from Houston's heat. The Kittrick Canyon Trail is often considered the most beautiful trail in Texas, especially during the fall, when the fall colours turn the canyon into an incredible patchwork of yellow, orange and red hues. We're almost there, at the notch. It's, it's amazing. Are you excited to see what's on the other end? Look at that. That is a view. Those are some steep canyon walls. So we're here at the notch on the McKittrick Canyon Trail. This is going to be our turnaround point for our hike today. 
From here, we'll head back down to the car and that'll be the end of our hike. We've heard from a lot of people that the McKittrick Canyon Trail is considered to be one of the most beautiful hikes in all of Texas. For us, it's our first hike in Texas, but it was absolutely beautiful. This one. This is a yucca plant. How tall is it? Huh. So we're at the end of the McKittrick Canyon Trail. So how long was it to go to the notch and back? In total, that took us five and a quarter hours, and it was 10 and a quarter miles with 1500 feet of elevation gain in total. All in all, it was a great hike. The, uh, most of the elevation gain came in the last mile or so. Up until then, it was pretty smooth going, pretty flat. Definitely a hike worthwhile doing, and I think worthy of its title of the, the most beautiful hike in Texas. Hall Trail. On this trail we should see some more fall colors and uh, we should see a thing called Hiker Staircase. I don't know exactly what it is but imagine probably boots or just steps. Look at this maple. It has really really tiny leaves. I normally see maples that where a leaf covers the whole palm but here it's like I don't know, 10 of them barely cover a palm. Very interesting. After hiking McKittrick Canyon and getting lunch, it was getting late, so we watched our time as we wanted to get back before it got dark. We're almost at the end, and we still haven't seen the hiker's staircase. I see why it's called the staircase. Wow, it's really interesting. It's very different kind of rock formations of what we've been walking so far. contrast between the staircase rocks and all the other round rocks that we uh, walked over. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. In further episodes we'll be doing more hiking in the Guadalupe Mountains.